Hi everybody, this is my BT Broadband Home Hub, the wireless router that will be at the heart of any BT Internet Home solution. So, we've got an ADSL type connection here, as there's no fibre optic cabling where I live. And for the package I pay £29.99 UK pounds a month for the unlimited BT Infinity with 52 megabits a second download and 9 megabits up. Now, before we start, just remember that it takes 8 megabits to make 1 megabyte, which is the common term that we use for computer and console storage. This means that in theory, a 100 megabyte file would be the equivalent of 800 megabits, which on my connection would take about 15 seconds to download or 89 seconds to upload. However, when it comes to multiplayer gaming on PC or console, download or upload speeds aren't that important. When you're actually in the games, multiplayer games don't use a huge amount of bandwidth unless you're downloading updates or downloading new games. What is important is the latency or the ping or the lag. And that's like the delay in time it takes for your data to leave your console or your computer to reach the server you're playing on. And kind of obviously the lower the time you can get that in milliseconds, the better the game will feel your shots will register more consistently and the game will feel smoother you know you'll see less people jumping around the map in front of you now a latency or ping of under 30 milliseconds is great well it's good and under 15 milliseconds is great and generally over 100 milliseconds is bad because that's when you'll start to notice um, things and in between you'll get this gray area where things just won't feel really good you know, and you'll be like, oh, my shots don't seem to be registering. Um, you know, the game seems to be punishing me for some reason. However, with broadband speeds, the theory and the practice can be can be really far apart. So let's see what we really get. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, plug um, my laptop into my router via a LAN cable. And I'm going to use the speedtest.net broadband checker because if you create a free account, you can see the history of the results. As I said, I'm going to do three tests plugged into the home hub router with a land cable. I'm going to do three tests on wireless about 30 feet away from where the router is. Um, I'm going to do three tests using my um, TP Link uh, Powerline uh, LAN adapters because in my house, it's not really practical to run a land cable from where my router is all the way up to where my where my consoles are and the power line adapters you know i think are, are quite a good uh, compromise for that so let's take a look at the results so these first ones at the bottom these are where i was plugged in directly from my laptop to um uh, to, to the router and basically my download over the three tests is round about 50 megabits a second and my upload is round about well it goes from nine to six and back to nine again so that's really pleasing it means i'm getting what i'm paying for you know if you remember at the beginning of the video i said you know i play i pay for 52 megabits down and nine megabits up and you know that's roughly you know roughly what i'm getting um, the ping is very good as well. It's down at 8 milliseconds um, for the first two tests, which is very low, which I'm, I'm pleased again with for an ADS line. Now, we do get a 100 millisecond uh, result on the third test, which points out an interesting fact in the fact that you do get lag spikes when you're playing games. Something will happen in the network, either at your end or somewhere out there in BT land or in the internet somewhere, which will cause, you know, a delay. So you, if this happens in the middle of a gunfight, you know, that's where you're, uh, well, that's where you, you'd, be in, you'd be in trouble. Now, if we look at the three tests where I'm using my laptop wirelessly, um, the download speeds and upload speeds have dropped considerably. As I say, we're about 30 feet away from the router through some walls. And the download speed goes from 21 megabits a second to 26, down to 17. And the uploads go from just over 9. In fact, they're pretty good, actually, the uploads. 9.3 down to 9 to 6.57. And you kind of expect, expect that. You know, I'm running wireless. I've, there's a few walls to go through. It's still all right, though, you know, for, for surfing the net and doing stuff on my, on my laptop. But it doesn't bode that well if you're going to be using that... Um, 
for your console it means that it will be downloading uh, updates and new games pretty slowly however what is very positive is the ping on the bt home hub uh, network the ping i've got two at nine milliseconds which is really fast for a wireless connection now we've still got that third odd one where it jumps up to 132 where we've got a lag spike going on but it does mean that in games it's it's very respectable you know you could play multiplayer games wirelessly and that would be that would be fine um games like pubg call of duty battlefield and stuff like that so that is a very i'm very pleased to see that because it often in many situations wireless is the only only way to go um so so that's great now if we look at the three final results using the laptop um this is where i plugged in via the tp link um power line adapters where you, you plug your router into an adapter that goes in the wall and the internet the, the network goes through your you know your the power cabling in your house um the upload speeds have gone up significantly and and the room actually where the power link adapters are is the same room that i did the the wireless test in we've gone up to 42 megabits a second 44 what well, 43 megabits a second and 43 megabits a second now it's not the same as when we're plugged directly in via a LAN cable because you know there's a little bit of distance involved and a bit of interference but that's still very respectable and the upload speed is good as well up 9.3 9.34 9.42 in fact i think that's probably some of the highest for the whole tests and the ping um, is, is funny enough, it's slightly higher than it was with the, with the wires. We've got 10 and 10 and 9 milliseconds, but it's still very, very fast. That is very, very respectable ping. You know, when, you, when you're playing a multiplayer uh, uh, a ping of that sort of speed, the game will feel good, the game will feel solid. It will feel like your, uh, your, your, more of your bullets will be registering and it'll, the game will be, definitely be feeling um, will be feeling very very uh fair so i'm pleased by that um i'm pleased because it's shown you know i'm getting what i'm paying for and the performance is definitely good enough for multiplayer gaming now you, you may well be saying well wait a minute rob this is the test these are the tests from a laptop plugged into the speed test how do we test what we're actually getting for our console and again that's another good point because remember when we're talking about ping and download and upload these different speed tests are talking to a particular server but when we're on our consoles we're playing with games from different servers you know you'll be if you're playing battlefield you're talking to the battlefield server if you're playing call of duty there is either dedicated servers or you'll be going to other people's um consoles you know around the country or indeed around the world now there's limited testing you can do on your consoles to to look at how uh, different things affect the, affect the network but what i did was i did look at it at the with the uh, playstation and uh, the uh, xbox one um, og and basically with, with the playstation they don't give you a uh, lag figure but wirelessly if i were to use the playstation i would get 24 megabits down and five up um, but if i plugged it into the uh, power line adapters which is how i have them it goes up to 50 megabits uh, down and uh, it's uh, seven megabits up so that's very respectable very good indeed and um, that, that, that's fine if we look at the xbox uh, wirelessly where they give us a little bit more detail um uh, where were we sorry uh, yeah wirelessly we get a download of 38 megabits a second and upload of 4 megabits. Um, the latency, however, is quite high. The latency is up at 76 milliseconds, so we're getting pretty high. So that gives us an idea that perhaps wireless on a console when you're playing multiplayer games isn't the best thing, and that's when your shots won't seem to be registering. Um, if we plug them into the if we plug the Xbox into the TP-Link wireline uh, LAN adapters, power line adapters, which is what I do, our, our download speed goes up to 50 megabits a second, which is pretty pretty fast. You know, it's near what I'm paying for, and our upload speed is uh, 5.4 megabits a second. Now the latency is 48 milli 48 milliseconds, um, which is much better than the wireless results, um, but isn't as good as the um, as the laptop result. Now. You've, as I say, you've got to take this all with a pinch of salt because in these in these different upload and download tests, we're talking to different services, servers and at different times. Now, I did run the Xbox test a couple of times and round about 48 milliseconds is what I was getting from the Microsoft test. But it could be that the Microsoft test is pinging a server that is that, that could be in America or it could be a long way away. It could be in Ireland. It could be in Europe. It doesn't tell you. Um, where with the, um, 
with the speedtest.net tests, they're local servers they're using in the, in the same country. So take that with a with a pinch of salt. And again, you've got a kind of it's a relative thing. Uh, if before on wireless we were getting you know a ping of 76, um, and we've now gone to 48, that's a significant change. So it's much much faster. So the conclusion to all of this in my BT Infinity Broadband review for multiplayer gaming is that in my case, this ADSL solution seems to be pretty good. I mean, we're very lucky. I'm very lucky here in the fact that uh, I live in a detached house. Um, so there isn't that much wireless interference, I guess, from other properties around. Um, we don't live in a, a, a I don't live in a, a big built up area. It's quite, um, quite uh, out, out in the countryside. Um, so, the, uh, the the number of people who are using the same uh, switch, same BT switch, probably isn't that high, but I'm very pleased with it. I, I'm getting what I pay for, and very importantly, the lag or the ping um, or the latency is pretty low as well, which is what I'm into because I play a lot of multiplayer games. So there we go. If you're thinking about broadband and um, you haven't got access to fiber, or maybe you're getting a bit hacked off with um, the, your existing broadband provider, this BT Infinity solution um, is working great for me. It's fairly reasonable and priced, $29.99. I think $29.99 for like 18 months, then it goes up again, but that's when you think about changing your package again. Uh, 52 megabits down, 9 megabits up. And um, yeah, I'm very pleased and uh, I would recommend it. Anyway, that's enough from me. Put your questions and comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much and I will see you again soon.